So the Arrhythmia Alliance and the Atrial Fibrillation Association are uh, fundamentally patient support groups that help to raise profile and awareness of arrhythmia problems. The British Heart Rhythm Society is the clinician representative body and the Arrhythmia Alliance is an overarching umbrella organisation that tries to bring all of those interested parties together. So it's a brilliant collaboration between clinicians and patients supporting those families and patients with heart rhythm problems. So atrial fibrillation is the commonest abnormal rhythm. It affects more people as they get older. It's an irregular rhythm from the heart, which is essentially uh, benign, other than it is associated with a risk of stroke, and for some people, very unpleasant symptoms of palpitation, shortness of breath, even blackouts. Um, it's a very common problem, and our ambitions in the UK are to prevent anyone having an unnecessary stroke from atrial fibrillation and trying to get people's quality of life back to normal as soon as possible. So cardiac arrest is a very common cause of death in the UK, much more common than fires, and yet there are very strict laws about fire regulations and fire extinguishers everywhere, but AEDs are not available everywhere, and if they are, they're not signposted appropriately. And yet, getting bystander CPR and access to an AED can more than double your chances of surviving a cardiac arrest. So we're very excited that the Department of Education has now accepted that basic life support is on the school curriculum. So it means that everyone coming out of school will know how to resuscitate their father or their grandfather or, or mother. Um, but we need to now have better access to AEDs which are cheap, very simple to use, they're automatic, they don't need special training, and they can massively improve your uh, outcome from a cardiac arrest. So we'd like a law change to improve access and signposting so that they're accessible in every busy public place.